Hello everyone, welcome to Friday Sews. I'm Christine and this is Christine Sews A Lot. I'm coming to you a little bit disheveled. I've just pulled back my hair because I have a very busy today and a lot to do. So I'm gonna start off with what I'm wearing. Today I'm wearing the Chalk and Notch Ren Blouse and I have to say, I'm not too sure how I feel about this. I sewed this version two years ago. When the pattern came out, I fell in love with it. Have you ever done that? Just seen something and immediately knew that you wanted it. I love the lantern sleeves, but I'm not sure I love them on me. So why have I not worn this much? You probably haven't seen this on me much because I've only worn it a handful of times since I sewed it. The primary reason is I sewed it in the wrong size. I did not use my upper bust measurement when I cut it out. And I had a lot of fabric here under the arms, which was affecting the look and the drape of this. I've recently put on a little bit of weight, so I thought, let me get the blouse out, wear it and see how I feel about it. Since I was so attracted to it when I saw the pattern, I wanted to see, one, did it fit me a little bit better now that I've got some extra pounds that I'd rather not be carrying over? Is this really the pattern for me? And I have a few initial thoughts on it since putting it on this morning. It does fit a little bit better, um, not as much loose fabric around the body of the shirt, but I'm not too sure that I love this neckline on me. And sometimes that happens. We look at a picture of the model wearing the item, whether it's a blouse or a dress, and we fall in love with it and we want that look. But then when we make it for ourselves, we decide, you know, that's really not me. The other thing that I'm unsure about is the sleeves. Now, I do know in this version that the sleeves are dropping off my shoulder, and so I should have done an adjustment that maybe sewing it in a little small, one size smaller would take care of where the seam sits on me. So I know I have that going on, but I'm not sure how I feel about the volume here in my shoulders and how wide it makes me feel. I don't feel fantastic wearing this blouse, so I'm not sure if I want to sew another one. I'm going to wear this today and I'm really going to take note of how I feel in this. Do I want to make another one or do I want to move on and make something else? Let me know if that has happened to you. Have you fallen in love with a pattern that you absolutely had to have and then fallen out of love with it? So most of the work in my sewing room this week has been entering my fabric and patterns into Stash Hub. I've talked about it before. I'm going to link information down below. I have found this app so useful for helping me to not buy fabric that I don't need. Minerva has a fantastic sale going on right now. 30% off for Minerva Craft Club members on all fabric and 20% for non-members. And I have not ordered a thing I had several things in my cart and I thought, yes, let's go look in the stash hub. And I found that I had the suitable length and type of fabric for all the projects that I want to do in the near future and I decided not to buy. So I think the less than $3 a month that I'm paying for stash hub on an annual basis is going to save me a ton of money. I'm also liking how I can quickly go through my patterns and look and see what I have and how much yardage is required. If I want to make something special, I know what I have that will work with it. And speaking of special, something that I want to make is a fantastic dress for myself out of this fabric. 
This is a Minerva exclusive, and I love this. This is a rayon, and I would love to make myself a fantastic dress. I wanna sew this up right away and not put this aside as, oh, the special fabric that I can't decide what I wanna do with it. So tell me what you think. I'd love to know what pattern you would pair with this fabulous fabric. I do sew almost predominantly indie patterns just because of there being more size inclusive and I do want to get this sewn up. Tell me what you think. But right now I want to talk about what I have sewn this week. It's not a ton. My father called me and asked me if I would make him a few begging bags. So what he was looking for were some drawstring bags from when they take up collections once a month at church for the St. Vincent de Paul Society. How could I say no? I'm never going to tell my father no, and it's a really good cause. So it's just a very simple drawstring bag. He asked for four of them. I did embroider SVDP on them so that it would look official, a little more finished, and I am boxing the corners. I'm taking my time with these. I'm enclosing all the seams so that they'll be durable, they'll hold up well in the wash, and I wanted them to look nice. Typically, when I sew this as a gift bag, I would do a lot of serging, but for this, I'm enclosing seams and then doing French seams. The other thing that I've sewn this week, and I'm not finished, is another maple cardigan. This is a poppy and jazz pattern from Sew Over It. I made this out of the same fabric for my granddaughter. I'm going to be seeing my nephew this weekend, and he has a little niece who's the same age as my granddaughter. So I've got a little tag in it that says, Auntie made this. And all I've left to do is to put on the bottom hem band and the snaps. And that will just take a few minutes to do. And that's on my list for today so that I can give it to the little baby tomorrow. As for a life update, I recently had my colors done. I use Color Guru. I wanted to have my colors done because I felt like I knew some of the colors that worked well for me, but that I was wearing the same two colors essentially over and over again when it came to wearing something close to my face. And I wanted to expand that and I wanted to work on more of a capsule wardrobe and sewing pieces that coordinated and went well together but mostly I wanted to expand the colors that I was using. I follow Whitney from Tomcat Stitchery who uses her colors extensively in sewing for herself and for her daughter. So I'm gonna be doing a separate video talking about that when I've had a little more time to sit with my season, so to speak, and that will be coming out in the future. I have a super busy day today. I need to finish up the bag and bags and the cardigan. I am participating in a pattern test. I can't talk about that right now. And I've got a little collaboration coming up and you'll hear more about that later. Until next time, this is a video that YouTube thinks you'd enjoy most. I hope you have a good week and that you find the good in everything, especially sewing. Bye. Mm -hmm.